The following contest is ladies' action from the NWA Total Non-Stop Action. About to make her way to the ring. This is Alexis Lurie. Well, Don, kind of a shocking situation there in the back with Sandman and Perry Saturn declining the help of Father James Mitchell. We know about a six-man tag later tonight. The Harris Brothers and Christopher Daniels against Sandman Saturn and a third man. But obviously, it's not going to be one of the disciples of the new church. Who's it going to be? Well, I mean, that's just it. If it's not Slash or Kildos or Brian Lee, who's he going to bring in? And her opponent, from Strong Island, New York, this is Trinity! Well, Mike, we saw this through in last week between Trinity and Alexis Marie, and it came to a head. There's only one way to solve it, and that's to get both of them in the ring right here tonight. Opposite sides of the ring one week ago in a tag team match, but now it's time to put them in the ring in single competition, one-on-one, -on -one. Trinity and Alexis Lurie. Let's see who's the better of the two. Mike, I gotta tell you, I was talking to Lurie, Alexis Lurie, before the match. And I was like, how are you going to stop Trinity? What are you gonna do with her high-flying maneuvers? You know she's a stunt woman. You know she's been in many movies doing stunts. How do you stop it? And she said, I've gotta ground her. Literally, that was her game plan. She said, I've got to keep her out of the air. Makes sense. Now let's see if Alexis Lurie is able to take that game plan and implement it in the ring against Trinity. We saw Alexis Lurie debut one week ago on this program. She's been wrestling for four years out of Richmond, Virginia. Trained by some of the big names in our sport. She's been in the camps of Dory Funk Jr., Ricky Steamboat, Bobby Eaton, Ricky Morton, all in an effort to learn her craft. Make it here to NWA, TNA, and Trinity. Wow. Nice move out of the fireman's carry. Takes her down, rolls her over, and works on the arm. Her athletic ability is just off the charts, Mike. I mean, you know, like, whoa, wait a minute. Oh, unreal. Flying head scissors takeover, and Alexis Marie was sent head first into the canvas, and she's calling timeout. Whatever the game plan was, she started with at this point, she's not been able to use it. I'll tell you something, you know, this is the first time I can remember seeing Trinity out here without Kid Cash. Well, you know, we talked about this for the past couple of months, it seems. I think Kid Cash has held the belt something like seven weeks. How many times in that seven-week reign has Trinity been there to either help him retain the title, take a bullet for Kid Cash, almost repeatedly? That's right. The point where they've become inseparable here, but you're right, it is odd to see Trinity out here without Kid Cash accompanying her to the ring. Well, or vice versa. Absolutely. Don't forget, folks, coming up here later tonight, NWA World Championship belt, D'Lo Brown, Jeff Jarrett. It's going to be incredible. Title on the line, as well as the power and control that goes along with it. Keep in mind, if D'Lo Brown is successful, if D'Lo Brown defeats Jeff Jarrett to win that title, Sports Entertainment Extreme, well, in, in my mind, takes over. Yeah, they do. Because they'll have the championship belt, and they will have the power, the authority, and the control that goes along oh. with that most prestigious title. Great drop kick, basement style by Alexis Lurie. Well, Mike, her game plan has now gone in motion, and she is Covered. effectively almost did it. Got a two count on Trinity. You're right, real close to getting the pin and the win. They look so similar in, in, in bodies out there, but they have definitely different styles. Whoa! Vertical suplex takeover, floats over into a pin and gets a two count. I think Trinity probably has a little bit of a height advantage on Alexis Lurie. And you're right, you mentioned the contrast in styles between the two, where Alexis Lurie is hoping to ground Trinity. And doing it with kicks to the midsection, Every, every chance like he gets. To the knee, side knee lifts to the face as well. And so far, the game plan, the strategy that she had pre-match, well, she's okay. been able to use until Trinity fights back. Forearm shot. This has become a brawl right now, Mike. Fans solidly behind Trinity, who charges oh. at Alexis Marie, who sidesteps her and passes her between the ring ropes out to the arena floor. I don't know who's been helping Alexis Marie, I mean, get prepared for Trinity. Obviously, she's been listening to, to so many people that have, have been in the ring with her. Think about Amazing Red, uh, you know, which is she brought her out here last week. Obviously, she's done homework, Mike. And uh, keep in mind that they were in the ring quite a bit of the time last week in that tag team match. Get her, baby! Come on!
Well, right now, the advantage is definitely in Larice's favor. As she has somehow, some way, effectively taken Trinity out of her game. Completely. And goes for the cover. Here it is. Hooks the leg. And another two count. You're right, Don. It's one thing to talk about grounding the opposition. An hour or two before the match. It's another to make that stand up in the ring. Trinity goes for the boot to the midsection. Stop. Blocked oh. by Alexis Lurie. Oh. Alexis Lurie on target with the Enziguri. Nonchalant cover and that costs her. You know, she's using a style that even Trinity hasn't seen with the X Division opponents that she's been out here with when she's been with Kid Cash watching, you know, what he faces. Back to the offensive. Goes Alexis Lurie. Trinity in trouble here yep. in this match. She's just not been able to get on track. The crowd definitely behind Trinity, and she's going, oh, beautiful kick right there. Lurie. She needs something. Lurie telegraphed the back body drop. Trinity connects first with a drop kick, then a clothesline. Spin kick. Uh oh. Is she going to go high risk? You know she is. It's tough to ground her when you're down in the mat, and Trinity is climbing to the top rope. Going to settle now for the middle rope. No, no. Nope. Going up one more floor to the top. Oh. Should have settled for the middle rope. You know, she, she, it was almost like she hesitated on what move she wanted to do there, Mike. And by hesitating like that, it gave Lexus Lurie the time to get up there and counter that. You're right. That momentary delay was all Lurie needed. Attempted a super flex back into the ring. Fought off by Trinity. Lurie goes right back to it. And again, Trinity hooking the top rope. Blocking the suplex, and again now just takes Lurie, just shoves her down to the mat. And here she goes. She's that indecisive now. She knows what she wants to do. Oh, totally missed it. Went for the moonsault. Did not connect. You know, Trinity has just almost seemed unbeatable when it came to the women's competition here at DNA. And she is literally... Now what? What is he doing out here? Raven? Now, what interest would Raven have in this match? As he goes to his customary position right there, Mike. The interested observer in the corner, Raven looking on. The look on the face of Trinity tells the whole story. She's shocked. And, and here's Kid, here Cash. comes Kid Cash. <laughs> Kid Cash looking on from the ramp. Trinity and Lurie exchanging slaps, exchanging chops. To the ropes goes Lurie. Oh, beautiful shit. Got him with a great kick. Oh, here it goes. Quick one, two, three. The winner of the match, Trinity. What an effort. What a performance. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. Watch this. Holy oh. cow. Even flow DDT by Raven on Trinity. Kid Cash down the ramp. Well, surely Cash is going to come to Raven. He puts on the brakes. Wait a minute. She's come to his aid how many times? What a worm this guy. Did you just see that? He just walked off. And Raven grabs Alexis Marie by the wrist. And takes Alexis Marie out of here toward the Sports Entertainment Extreme Locker Room, Mike. What just happened? Why? What is this about? Why is he taking her to the back?